Hello, welcome to your first tutorial on the copycat node. Now before I start getting into all the buttons and nuances about it, we're going to get you right in to your first comp. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is something really easy, and that is removing tracking markers from a piece of footage. And if we play this thing through, let's go ahead and play this thing through. As you can see, it's an interactive screen where the person touches it, and the, butt, the tracking markers come up, they disappear, and we want to get rid of all that. The one thing about copycat node is great is you're able to do that and maintain the reflection as you see. So when you go to copying this, you can put the reflection back on. And that's definitely something you want to make sure you do to add that extra bit of detail in your comp. Now we won't be doing a comp for this. We'll just be removing the tracking markers because that's what this is really about is using the copycat node. So now here we are in Nuke, and this is what your comp will eventually look like. We're going to start from scratch, but basically this is what it's all it is. I know it looks confusing and a bit intimidating, but don't worry. We'll go through it and one by one, and you'll understand the concept. The idea behind it is basically taking your starting image, saying, hey, I need to paint out a bunch of frames, which is called a data set. That's what these are, or data sets to go into the copycat node to say, hey, look at this, make it look like that, okay? So when you get done, you get this thing called an inference, which will, auto, which will automatically take out those tracking markers for you. And you didn't have to track anything. You painted on individual frames, selected frames that you have to choose where the image changes. So we'll get into that in a minute, but that's the concept, is you have a piece of footage, paint frames that you think change the most, and then compare it to the original, and then spit out a data information. And that data information, that machine learning information, will tell this footage here, because this is actual footage, and say, hey, take this tracking marker out, and it just does its little magic, and you'll end up with a nice, clean 